Hey guys, this is Logan with Lucene Clockworks and wanted to show you something here. Uh, this is not uncommon, I've seen this quite a few times before and so I figured it'd be a good chance to show you what happens when a clock movement gets vatted. So what happened, customer brought this clock and said um, it had been overhauled a few years ago and uh, you know, charged a bunch of money for it and now after four or five days the chimes and strikes stop working. So it's like it runs out of energy in the middle of the week. So I got to looking at it and saw signs that this clock had been vatted. So what that means is it's kind of a, a DIY approach to cleaning a clock. Um, and what you do is you take the movement out, like this is called a movement, the guts of the clock, and you get some clock cleaner in a vat and you just dunk it in there and you leave it there for a day or a week or whatnot and then you bring it back out and maybe clean it up a little bit and throw it back in. Um, does it get them working sometimes? Yes, but long term it's actually, uh, it actually ends up causing a lot of damage to the clock. So I wanted you to be aware of these things um, so you know um, how to see signs if it's been vatted and how to not take the DIY approach to cleaning a clock necessarily um, if you want it to work for the long run. So let me show you some stuff here. Um, I've cleaned up a lot of it, so you're not gonna see as many signs, but if you look right here, you can see maybe a little bit of this goo. Some goo there, some goo in here, just kind of looking for green goo. If you see green goo, that's a telltale sign. There's a little bit in there. Um, and I've cleaned out a lot, but you can see the teeth are pretty dirty. And there, when I first got it, there was a bunch of green goo all up in the teeth. So what the green means is that that cleaner had a, uh, uh, ammonia in it. You can see a little more there. Um, ammonia, ammoniated cleaners are green. And when they sit on the clock, you'll see them turn into green goo over time. So um, it starts out as a cleaning agent. But eventually, as the as it evaporates and stuff, it turns into goo and sometimes can get really hard even. So um, that said, now you've got all this green goo in the gear teeth and in everything in the springs and that ammonia, um, it, uh, it not only does it get gooey and sticky and slow things down, it also is corrosive. And so over time, it actually eats away at things that you need to not be eaten away at. So short run, yeah, it'll get it running. Long run, it can actually cause damage. So this movement really needs to be replaced. Um, you could overhaul it, but this is a modern one, so I'd just replace it. But either way, um, it needs work because of the work that's been done on it. So beware. If you see stuff like that, um, green goo in various places or the teeth are wet, then, then that's not good. You need to be aware of that. So what I'm doing here, I'm not going to charge her for this because I can't guarantee it's going to work and I can't guarantee how long it's going to work for if it does. But what I'm doing is I'm going through and just wiping up as much of that goo as I can. And in the teeth, I took my air air nozzle and I'm just spraying out as much of that stuff as I can. All these pivot holes and stuff have a bunch of goo and crud. I'm trying to clean that out with toothpicks and spray nozzles and stuff. Basically get all that goo out of there if I can. If you have anything in the teeth, whether it be oil or goo or dirt or anything, that is all likely to make the stop the clock stop working. So I'm getting all that out the best I can. I think it might work. I'm not... I don't have any warm and fuzzies about that, but um, there's a chance it'll work. So now that I've gotten everything out, I've re-oiled it, and we're going to let it run for a week and see how it does. Um, so then the question is, maybe you've seen some, some DIYers say, hey, just throw it in a vat. Let's do that. Quick, easy way to clean your own clock at home. Is that ever okay? Well, first of all, not if you're going to charge somebody for it. I, I would never charge a person if I were just going to vat it. It would just be like, hey, I've got a friend who wants something done real quick. Um, and, and even then, I would I would certainly stray away from that if all possible. The only time that I would ever even consider vatting something is if it were maybe a cuckoo clock or something like that that doesn't have springs. See, these springs, if you get all that stuff in there, it's not good. You can't re-oil them without taking the whole thing apart. So you don't want cleaner inside of these barrels. Um, but if it's a cuckoo clock or something like that without barrels and a friend wanted, or maybe it's mine and I wanted to do it but I didn't have time to overhaul it, then maybe, just maybe, I might vat it and then clean it up and then wash it with water very thoroughly to get all the ammonia and, and uh, goo and stuff out of there um, and then dry it with a hair dryer to get everything out. That'd still be wrong. 
Would I do it? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I haven't yet, but we'll see. Um, anyway, that's a, it's a little tidbit on vatting a clock and how not to clean a clock. Um, love to see your comments. Maybe you've tried it at home and uh, let me know how, how it went. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on those things. Um, but I think that's all for now. Let's, uh, let's see if this clock works.